Hey everybody, this is London Bridge Bricks. In this review and speed build, I'll be assembling set number 75317, the Mandalorian and Child, or as I like to say, the Mando Baby Yoda. Now this set depicts our hero, the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter, protecting the child through season one of the Mandalorian, which was arguably one of the best things to come out of Star Wars for years. Now this is a current summer 2020 set, features 295 pieces and retails in the UK for £17.99, in the US for $19.99 and the rest of Europe for €19.49. Now the price per piece count for this is 6p, which is really good considering it's a Star Wars theme and it consists of the Mandalorian as well. So anyway, that's the brief. Let's dive in and take a closer look. So here it is then, the Brickheads, the Mandalorian and the Child. And just in, just in case you, you out there for some strange reason uh, don't know the difference, this is actually the Child and this is the Mandalorian. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we've got our, um, our Child, we're in the hovering crib, uh, I think we'll call it, uh, with his ears turned up. I think he looks pretty good actually, got some nice orange elements in there, kind of, I don't know, sunburst, yellowy, orangey elements. So uh, it works really well actually with this kind of minimalistic um, backdrop, this kind of sunburst of light there. And um, you've got our hero there, uh, the Mandalorian, uh, looking rather cool and menacing. Okay, so over here, the child, of course, he's, he's uh, Brickhead's number 113 and the Mandalorian 114. I've got to say, I, I would have thought the numbers would be a lot higher than that. There was a time uh, not so long ago that they're actually pushing out uh, Brickhead's, um, you know, it felt like there's about 20, 20 a day coming out of them. But anyway, they've, they've slowing down like you wouldn't believe. But anyway, you've got the nice use of uh, that coloration there with this, uh, this silhouette. I think that works really particularly well. And this particular scene, uh, if, you've, if you've seen the Mandalorian, of course, end of episode one, there's this kind of story uh, hooking scene uh, where the Mando, he opens up uh, the crib and of course he finds arguably uh, the cutest species in the galaxy inside it, which is kind of cool. And then on the back, uh, we get ourselves um, it's just, just, just a rotation really of the figures. Um, we've got a little bit more extra greebling there on uh, on our uh, on our hero, the Mando there. That's pretty good actually. I'm liking the use of uh, the uh, lightsaber hilts and uh, there you get just a little, little view of his rifle there. I'm looking forward to building that bit in particular. Uh, we've got Baby Yoda here, aka the child, um, with his ears. His ears are the other way around, actually. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, so his ears are up there and his ears are down there. And I've got to say, his ears are huge, They're absolutely massive. Um, I'll compare them a little bit later on, actually, uh, with, the, uh, with the Yoda brick heads that came out uh, early on last year as well. But anyway, let's take a look here. We've got ourselves some action shots there of um, uh, Baby Yoda uh, getting into his crib. And, uh, well, there's not really, there's not many two action things that you can do with these uh, brick heads. They're kind of, once they're built, they're, they're quite a static thing, um, but once they're done well, they do particularly look good. And I've got to say though, that this is a, this is, there is a hint of um, a deja vu about this set because uh, it wasn't that long ago when the Mandalorian did come out and it kind of burst onto the screens. Uh, everyone wanted Mandalorian things. Of course, uh, the Lego hadn't produced anything really uh, at all. So I, I turned to building a, a custom version of this Mandalorian. So if you want to, uh, if you want to see that uh, check out the card above but yeah so this is um, this is the outside of the box um, let's take a look and see what we got on the inside okay so we get ourselves two instruction manuals one for the child and one for the Mandalorian himself interestingly we get five bags two labeled up as bag one and three labeled up as bag two, which is uh, a bit weird really. I don't know why they could just can't do one to five, but anyway, maybe uh, you can tell me down in the comments below. So it looks like we're gonna be starting off, yeah, instruction manual one, which is obviously the child, and then you've got the uh, the, the crib here from, from bag one. I've like got some pretty decent parts in there, look at that. that yeah, that's a very uh, curvaceous uh, brick, isn't it? And then of course you've got the, uh, the plate there, uh, that it'll all sit on. So bag one, uh, there's the rest of bag one there. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think too interested in that. 
Okay, let's go over to bag two. Was there uh, some parts that would be interesting there? There we go, we've got the lightsaber hilts, uh, very silvery ones as well. Look at that, I think just about make that out. But yeah, they're super silver, those ones. Are virtually chromed off. And then in bag two here, what have we got? Anything interesting in there? No, not particularly too interesting. Got some um, very chromy coloured uh, studs. That's quite cool. I like, always like those. And uh, I've got these hook pieces there that all kind of make up uh, the uh, disintegration rifle. Uh, that, and then over here, oh yeah, here we go. With the, with the brick heads, the inevitable, uh, the brain, the two by two uh, pink brain. I always like that. It always makes me giggle. That does. Uh, I've got them. Let's, anyway, let's have a look at the um, instruction manual. So child one, where are we at with him? Uh, let's take a look in there. Yeah, it kicks off with the crib. So pretty interesting stuff. So look on the back here. There we go, Star Wars 2020. There we go. And uh, that's kind of where we want to get to uh, with, the, uh, with the baby Yoda, the child. Let's take a look at the Mandalorian. Yeah, I do like that. Artwork. It really pops, doesn't it? It really looks... Um, it's a really nice piece of artwork, I like that. Um, when Lego uh, do it right, especially with the minimalistic look, uh, I think it looks really good, some of their stuff. Yeah, there we go, there's our angle. Back to, it's all about the Mandalorian here. And then at the back here, what have we got? We've got the parts list there. Uh, here we are. There's that curve, that curvaceous uh, brick piece. I don't think, I think that comes out too well, actually, because it's white, uh, white on a very pale gray. Um, but this is this is gonna this is kind of interesting. Look at these here. Look at these uh, these sets that are coming out here. I particularly like uh, this one here. I think this is so different. Actually, seven five two nine three. I think that's a corker of a looking set. That is, of course, and um, of course the one that everyone's most likely going to buy and buy multiples of them. Of course, is this one set number seven five two eight zero the five zero first. But out of all of those, the ones that I'm particularly interested in um, is this one seven five two nine one the final there on the Death Star 2 and that one comes with a, a Darth Vader uh, with printed arms which I think is going to be an absolute corker version of Vader to get and of course uh, the one that everyone's looking forward to that isn't even coming out in this wave it comes out in September uh, is the Razor Crest which is set number 75292 and you'll be able to get uh, uh, the child in the, in minifigure form in that one so that's what everyone's always all going to be excited about getting that and of course this set down here is the uh, uh, is set number 75284 and that one you actually end up getting uh, a good couple of those uh, Knights of Renin which is kind of cool and then you've got this set here which um, is it is this tank one actually 75283 uh, you get some cool figures in with that there we go if I just saw that there you can see the sort of figures that we're all getting out there quite a, quite a good mixture of figures uh, and there and there he is I said uh, said baby uh, baby Yoda just there it's tiny isn't it tiny um, so yeah, so so yeah, that's our uh, that's our instruction manual uh, for uh, uh, for the Mandalorian. Um, I think it's time now. Let's go do a a very brief uh, speed build, and then we'll get back to the review.
So here we are then, uh, this is them. Um, I gotta say, straight off the bat, I think these are really, really good Greek heads. Um, the, oh, there's just everything about them I absolutely love. And it's one of those builds where you, know, you start with the crib, uh, then you start with uh, uh, the child, and then you go on to the Mandalorian, and it just gets better and better and better with the building. So anyway, we'll, we'll put the Mandalorian to one side just for a, just for a moment, and we'll, uh, we'll eject uh, the child out of his uh, out of his hovering crib uh, just for a moment, but yeah, just everything about about this. And this is one thing I miss about there being uh, a, a lot more brickheads coming out is oh, you get some really nice building techniques, and you get some decent bricks and prints as well. Um, for example, uh, I know I keep going on about them. <laughs> uh, but I can't help myself. Uh, these, these here, these, um, these kind of bulbous bricks there, they are brilliant. I mean, look, they absolutely finished that off so, so well. I think they look great, I really do. I'm loving the, uh, the kind of uh, orangey yellow uh, pieces that are just there. And, and the techniques used to build it is, is absolutely brilliant. It really is. It's got these lovely, great big um, slope bricks here. And they're cute. I've never actually used them on any builds before. But the, the technique of holding this back section onto here is really clever. It kind of, you think to yourself, well, where's this going then? And, and uh, and then all of a sudden it, it, you kind of get to that point where you're adding more bricks to it and you're like, ah, oh, what a fantastic idea. So, you know, the designers for Brickheads have to be so clever and use the elements in such a unique way that I truly hope that Brickheads doesn't become a kind of a thing of the past. But anyway, I guess time will tell. So the, the crib itself is, is really nice. You've got this lovely great big plate there. You've got these lovely great big bricks that make it up as well. And then uh, our, our, uh, our kind of uh, uh, child is kind of perched there on those two jumpers just in there like that. And it kind of sits in there really well. Another good element uh, that comes with this uh, particular build is this uh, one by four plate as well. That's got this, it's kind of like a one by four plate with hook. Uh, and it's just like, um, it's just like having a crib uh, with handles. I think it's, uh, I think that's a really nice touch. Lots of detail. And that is, um, that is definitely a theme about this, uh, this jewel pack is that you've got plenty of detail in everything that you actually build as well. So anyway, so that's the crib. Um, what about its uh, inhabitants, of course? So here we are, we've got the, we've got the, baby, the, 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 the baby Yoda or, or the child. I mean, I, one thing that I found, it may actually, I don't know if it came across when I was in the speed build because the camera probably uh, kind of shuffled a little bit, but I was laughing out loud because uh, inside Baby Yoda, like all brickheads, you get you always got these uh, these brains, these, and they're normally speaking, there is like a, a pink uh, two by two brick, but on this one, it's like a, a one by, uh, just a one by one brick. And uh, it just made me laugh that they, the fact that they still kind of keep keep the theme of uh, Brickhead's brains going. But, you know, again, it's, it's, just, it's just really nice. And there's, there's a lovely use of this um, kind of sandy beige color uh, that goes around. And you've got this kind of slightly scarf effect uh, going around his neck there. And it's really good. I mean, that is quintessentially baby Yoda, folks. It really is. Um, you know, it's, I, I think the Lego guys have done a really good uh, version of him. My only, my only downside to him and the only negative I would say about him, because I, th I think they've done a fantastic job, is he is. His ears are just humongous. He, he's like a, uh, he's, he's got the ear rolls of a, a, a big friendly giant. He really has. I mean, just, just to give you some sort of comparison and the difference is, is over here, or over here maybe I should say, is, uh, is, is, the, is, the, um, is Yoda. So this is what he, he, he will look like. Uh, 850 years from now, uh, and maybe it's just a thing. Maybe with this particular uh, cute species, uh, their ears get smaller as they get older. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Or maybe they just grow into their ears. Maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, the, I mean, you know, you got the. You can definitely tell he's younger. Yeah, a younger version of this particular species. And uh, again, uh, you know, I always like the original Yoda anyway because I, I think it's got a lovely little print going down there, and that's one of the the things that I love about brickheads when they when they get it right they do a fantastic job but i gotta say though he still you know he still looks pretty cool and of course one of these things here this is let's put his let's put his ears down yeah there we go like that there we go he's just been told off and uh sent back to his crib <laughs> but anyway i think i think he's absolutely super i really do he is a great little build that there is absolutely awesome now talking of awesome let's talk 
Let's take a look at the Mando himself then. Oh, look at this. Now this is absolutely lovely. And I tell you who it go really well with as well is Boba Fett. If you've got Boba Fett and you've got this guy as well, uh, you, you're in for some serious brickheads uh, treats. You really are. And just like Boba Fett, you've got these prints here for the uh, the armored cheekbones. I really like that. I think the um, uh, that, that print is, is, is really, really good and it kind of sets it off well. And when I did the, uh, the custom version of the Mandalorian, didn't have those pieces, um, but I've got to say that really does make it better. And the difference between this and the custom well if i'm honest the custom did a really good job it really did it's just that this version is just that little bit more refined i've got to say and and just look at look at the way there the light uh just catches on his visor doesn't that look good eh i'm loving it i'm really yeah, it makes him look really mean and menacing um but then i guess really if you uh, if you watch the last sort of two minutes of episode one you kind of think to yourself nah that, uh, that Mando is a big softy, really. Um, so yeah, so right around the back here, you've got his, you've got that fantastic rifle of his. God, you wouldn't want to get hit from that. I tell you, there, there, there's no, um, there's, there's no coming back if you get hit by one of these shots. That's for sure. You've got this lovely uh, snot um, technique used on the back here for his cape there. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm liking that. You've got that lovely grieving that I spoke about earlier on uh, using those hilts there. Um, not too many prints to go on about. You've got these two pieces there, obviously, as I just said. And, and you've got this um, oh, it's a light blue uh, azure line, really, on his on his shoulder pad. There was definitely more detail in the Bo Boba Fett, uh, or more prints, I should say, in the Boba Fett version of um, him. And if you've actually built both of them, if you've built this one, um, or and you've built Boba Fett, which, which particular one is your favorite? I, I kind of like them both quite differently because they are, let's face it, folks, um, quite different characters, really, aren't they? Um, other, other aspects I like of this, I'm, I'm liking the binoculars there. He's got a cool little uh, you know, blaster rifle there. That's pretty cool, isn't it? With his rifle and his blaster gun. I think that looks fantastic. I really do. Again, like like all the other brickheads, uh, he's got uh, the, the two the two by two uh, pink brain as well, which I always, I'll always say that. I'll never get bored of saying it as well. Um, but going back to details, but the details with this as well. Um, one thing that's striking, I don't know if you can just see there, if I can just get the light right. See his knee pads there. His knee pads are different colors. I mean, little details like that, it's fantastic, isn't it? And again, the building technique used for this brickhead is brilliant, it really is. There's a, there's a really clever technique uh, with holding his kind of, this cheek armor in place. I can actually, if I do that, you'll see it moving. Can you hear that? And it's because it's literally floating in there. I mean, I would have, I, I, personally, I would have thought that was some sort of illegal Lego technique, but obviously it isn't. Lego's made it so, but it, the, the way it's kind of held in with the, with the visor and some other sort of side sections there, it's really clever. And you kind of, you know, it might look like something quite basic and simple. But you know what, when it comes to the building techniques, uh, you get you get actually quite a lot out of it. The, the guys have to be very clever uh, with the constraints that they've got, and I think they've used every single Lego element to very good use. So, you know, overall, what do I what do I think then of this 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 dual pack uh, from Lego? Then the um, you know would, would I recommend it? Oh, I've got to be honest. I absolutely would. I have to be. If I'm if I'm fair, I would say the 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 the, the only negative I can honestly say is the ears, but. You know, who, who cares really? I mean, it just looks fantastic, doesn't it? And uh, and you know what? If it come come August the first, if you're a Lego Brickheads fan and you're a Star Wars fan and you, you you're really into the Mandalorian, and I've got to be honest, most people that are into Star Wars really do dig the Mandalorian. Then I think come August the first, this this particular set, this is going to be the easiest decision you have to make. So that's it for The Mandalorian Child. Thank you as always for tuning in to London Bridge Bricks. I really appreciate you watching and feeding back your thoughts and comments below for this review. And please do let me know if there are any particular sets that you'd like to see me review here on the channel. Now, if you want to keep up to date with Lego news and goings on at London Bridge Bricks, please do follow the channel on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, if you're new around here, why not hit that subscribe button and become a big part of the LBB family. I'll leave you now with some videos that I think you might like.